Hi there, welcome to BA Consulting Pro and welcome to this another episode of our series DP600 exam. DP600 is a Microsoft Fabric certification exam. And in this video, we are going to talk about how you can ingest data in Microsoft Fabric using Dataflows Gen 2. Dataflows offers a way that you can visually see step by step how you can ingest data and also how you can transform the data in Microsoft Fabric. So if you are interested to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm going to let you know everything about that. Before starting, if you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon so that you are always stay up to date with our latest videos and update. Now, enough all the talking, let's get started. As I have mentioned in my previous videos, Microsoft Fabric offers a unified solution for data engineering, integration, and analytics. That means you can perform your end-to-end -end data analytics using Microsoft Fabric platform. It's a software as a service platform, or you can also call it SAS or SAS platform. You should know that a crucial step in end-to-end -end analytics is data ingestion, where this data flows gen 2 comes into the picture, because these are gonna use to ingest and transform data from multiple sources and then land the cleansed data to another destination. That can be your data warehouse, that can be your lake house, that can be your data mart or database. Now, imagine you are working for a company which produces milk all around the world. And now you have to keep a tab on the quantity of the milk, or maybe you want to see that how the sales are going up and down. So you have to collect the data throughout the world and then you have to ingest into your data warehouse or lake house over there and then you have to generate analytics on the top of that. So that's where you can use Dataflows Gen 2. Now, I'm gonna go directly into the demo mode where I'm gonna show you that how we can do that. First of all, you have to land into your Power BI service portal. You can also start trial version for Microsoft Fabric. If you have that, then you can directly log in into Microsoft Fabric as well. And how you can do that? You have to simply come here, search Google, and here just type login Microsoft Fabric. If you have already licensed, you can simply come on app.fabric.microsoft.com and here you can start using it straightforward. Otherwise, we can directly go from here. Here you would get the different experiences and here we are going to use one of them. So Data Factory offers Dataflows Gen 2, which is visually step-by-step -step process to ingest and transform the data using Power Query. That's what we are going to do. Now, first of all, you have to create a workspace in order to do that. So how we can do that? Let's start creating first our workspace in Microsoft Fabric under SNPs Data Engineering because data ingestion is a part of data engineering. So you can come here under data engineering, click over here, and here we are gonna create a new workspace. So come here and say uh, you would like to create a new workspace. And I'm gonna give it a name, workspace underscore data flows underscore gen2. You can give it any name. I'm just using underscore, but you can make it more user friendly too. Here you can type the description if you would like to, but it should be on your trial capacity or if you have already fabric capacity, it should be on that. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. Now click apply. Now you can see that I have created my this workspace under SNPs Data Engineering, right? Now the another part that you have to do over here, you have to now create your lake house. And in order to create your lake house, you can go to your workspace homepage of data engineering again. And here you are going to say, I would like to create a new lake house. Lake house basically stores your big data for cleaning, querying, reporting, and sharing. So click over here. You can give it a name. I'm again going to call it Dataflows Gen 2. Then click on create button. It will take some time, maybe a couple of seconds, and then you would be able to see that one. Now you can see that on your left hand side panel under explore you have tables and you have files. Please do remember that whenever you are going to appear for DP600 exam, this may be a question that okay what do you see over here by default tables and files folder. Please do remember that always. Now we are going to use the Dataflows Gen 2 to ingest the data over here in this Microsoft Fabric platform. In order to ingest the data over here we have to first create Dataflows Gen 2 or Dataflow Gen 2. Then you can simply click over here, new data flow gen 2. Now, once you are over here, you have to now import the data. You can import from various sources. Some of the main sources are over here. So we are gonna 
get a data from a CSV file. For that, I'm gonna select over here and here you see link to file or upload a file. I'm gonna click on this link to file and I'm gonna use this link, which is a, basically a sample file provided by Microsoft and it's uploaded into GitHub. Now, I'm also gonna provide you this link in the description section if you would like to use it and then you can start utilizing this one. Now, after coming here, there is a connection, which is gonna be this one. You can click on the next button. Here you can see that my file is this and the data is being previewed over here. You have sales order ID, order ID, customer ID, line item, product ID, quantity, and the line item total. Everything is over there, but if you would like to use another delimiter, maybe your file is comma separated, that is CSV file and there is any another operator, there is any another delimiter basically, then you can select from here. You can see that preview is based on 200 lines, but you can also do based on entire data set if you would like to. Now, if you would like to add any other table using examples, you can do over here. You can click this or you can simply click on this create button. That's what we are gonna do over here. Now let's click on this create button. If you are following our tutorial on Power BI, then you are already aware about the Power Query, which is same over here. All the operations are gonna be over here for the data transformation. You can apply different kinds of operations over here. You can apply group by, you can split it, you can even change the data types, etc. And you can create a column using example as well. So there's a lot of flexibility over here. And if you would like to use the copilot, you can use the copilot as well. I'm not gonna use it. So that's a later part, but this is what you can do using Dataflows Gen 2. Now what we are gonna do basically, we are going to create a new column over here. And the column would be your month number. So let's create a new column over here first. So how to add a column? You would come here and you are gonna say, okay, add a new column. So you would get a couple of examples over here that how you can create a new column. Click on this custom column and here, you are gonna call it a name, month number. If you would like to create any other column, you can also create it. Just type the right name over here and the right function, which is mQuery function over here. And I'm gonna create using my order date because I just need to extract the month number from here. And we are using Power Query, so definitely you have to use this mQuery functions over here. Order date. Now, once you do this, you can simply click OK, and you can also click on the data type. So data type is gonna be whole number over here, and I can simply click on OK button. Now you see that my month number column has been created over here. So over here, you should remember that in the Power Query settings pane on the right hand side, you can notice all these applied steps over here which is including all the transformation steps that we are doing. Also, you would notice that whether you can fold this query or not. And if you would like to know more, just click on this learn more. Please do remember this pane because in your exam, you would get a question based on that. So this series is for DP600 exam. That's why I'm telling you step by step what you would find over here and what you can expect during your exam. Now, we have done this. Now, we have a column which is month number and the data type is whole number. If you have to check the data type, you can come in the home tab and here you can see the data type over here. So this can be another question for your exam. So once you do your all the transformation over here, then you have to add a destination. So destination you would find over here. So you can see that I have already selected my lake house as my destination over here. You can also select this drop down if you would like to create a new lake house. So I'm gonna say lake house and I'm gonna click next. And here, you see that invalid credentials, so I have to probably edit my connection. So my connection is gonna be the lake house. Here I have to select my authentication method, which is gonna be the organization account. And privacy level, you can select none or organizational. That's up to you. And I'm gonna select next. And here you can see that my lake house are appearing over here. So we have created a new lake house by the name data flows gen two, which is over here under this workspace. So we are gonna add it over here. So select next and table name is gonna be order only. Here you can do the mapping if you would like to, whether you are replacing, you are appending or you are doing any other operation, please make sure that you have selected the source type as the right one. And also over here, you have the right data types over here.
now you can simply save settings now under the view bar you can also select whether you want to see the diagram view or any other view so here you will see there is a diagram view if you would like to check the diagram view over here that means all the transformations that you are doing you can visually see that and you can also do them visually over here so in my power query tutorial i have shown you everything over there but this is not a power query tutorial this is a video on data flows gen 2 that how we can ingest data using data flows gen 2 which is a part of data factory in microsoft fabric now we have done everything now we can simply publish it now you would see that it's coming over here data flow to after that you can add a data flow to a pipeline basically you can include a data flow as an activity in a pipeline and that was the question in db 600 exam that what can you add in a pipeline data flow and there were some other options so answer is data flow you can add as an activity over there so please do remember that data flows can be added as an activity in your pipelines in microsoft fabric or data factory now we we can see that our data flow is over here data lake house is over there and then there is some other staging area which is creating by default so you don't need to worry about it data is being refreshed and being loaded over here while it's refreshing the data what we can do we can create a new data pipeline so click on this new button over here click on this data pipeline here you can give it a name and give it any name that you would like to use it i'm gonna say load order data click on create now we have to add a pipeline activity over here and we are going to add in this data flow activity so as you can see that there is an add pipeline activity means what we really want to do in the pipeline so that's what is an activity you can simply copy the data as well or you can choose your own task to create it we are going to create this and here we are going to add this data flow so this is a part of an activity now you can give it a name if you would like to or if you would like to keep it as it is you can do that there is no problem at all once you see that then you have to also check the other settings over here which is over here so you have to select your workspace name then you have to select your data flow which is my data flow gen 2 because this is going to help us to load the data if it's not appearing you can refresh it as well now it's done and you can also write some descriptions over here if you would like to you can see its state whether it's active or deactivated and timeout etc but if you would like to check some more advanced option like you want to retry it you can do it over here as well and after doing that you have to simply click on this save and run so what it's going to do basically now this activity is going to use your data flow as an activity inside your data pipeline and going to load the data into your lake house you can see that right now it's in progress and you can also click on this input what is the input over here what is going to be your output still there is no output because it's still doing and it's refreshing it automatically so that you would get to know whether it's been completed or not or you can also refresh it yourself so it would take some time now let's understand it meanwhile this process is going on let's try to get to know what we have done first we got the data from one link which is a file csv file stored in github so we created one data flow gen 2 in snips data engineering workspace over there we get the data we transform the data we saved it in the lake house so that was the process of creating data flow gen 2 only after that we created one data pipeline in the data pipeline we have created one data activity which is data flow so it's an activity over there in the data pipeline and this activity is going to help me to run my data flow and load the data into my lake house that's what it's doing so let's check its status and you can see that it succeeded now we can validate the results as well if you would like to so let's close this and now we are going to go back to our data flow gen 2 this is my lake house that i have created and in this the data should get loaded into the tables so let's see if we have or not let's try to refresh it and now you can see that my order table is over here and all the columns are over here now in order to preview it would take some time and you can see that my month number column is also there it has loaded 542 rows so this is a part where we have ingest the data in 
Microsoft Fabric using Dataflows Gen 2. Please do remember that in data analytics, ingesting data is the most important part where we gather the data from all the different sources and then we clean the data and we load into our lake house or any other destination that we would like to. I hope this makes sense. But if you have any question and concern, please do let me know in the comment section. I hope now you have a sound understanding about Dataflows Gen 2. You know how and why we use them. If you have any question and concern, please do let me know in the comment section. Also, please stay tuned for our next video. I'm going to see you in the next video.